a pleasant day. In this video, I will be reporting about information and communication technology in regards to business. What is the importance of ICT in business? ICT improves a business efficiency, effectiveness, and ability to react quickly to clients' needs. ICT may help with a variety of commercial tasks, including designs, production, research and development, distribution, sales, and feedback. Information and communication technology is used by the majority of the organizations to expand and enhance their operations. Internet-based and mobile technologies are both included in the integrated communication and technology. I will be discussing five different ICTs, the Artificial Intelligence, Internet of Things, which is IOTs, Big Data Analytics, Digital Twins or Metaverse, the FUD or Edge Cloud Computing. So among the five, I will give each differences for this. The first ICT that I am going to discuss is the Internet of Things or the IOTs. This is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with the unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring a human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. An IoT system is considered as sensors devices which talk to the cloud through some kind of connectivity. Once the data gets to the cloud, software processes it and it might decide to perform an action such as sending or alert automatically adjusting to, sen uh, to the sensors or devices without the need for the user. A complete IoT system integrates in four distinct components, sensor and devices, connectivity, data processing, and a user interface. On this slide, we're going to discuss about the diagram of IOTs or Internet of Things. So from the internet connection, there's a Wi-Fi, and then uh, to your device, going to the sensing devices like TVs, alarm clocks, or whatsoever, uh, appliances that you have that got some sensors, or a thermostat, or anything that senses with uh, like heat or cold. So uh, the best example for this IoT's function is a smart house. The second ICT that I'm going to discuss is the artificial intelligence or AI. So our world is changing in so many ways. And one of the things which may have a huge impact on the future is the artificial intelligence. The theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally requires human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, as a start of the machine learning of an AI, moving forward for their development so they can make a decision making and translation between languages as part of the deep learning of AI. So if you have taken an Uber, for example, or your phone autocorrect a misspelled word, you've used already AI. Artificial intelligence seems to be impact in our daily lives for a better. While the application of AI is seemingly infinite here is an example of an AI, text editors are autocorrect our cell phone, facial detection and recognition, chat box, digital assistance, and this commonly used social media. It's also part of an AI. As we can see from the diagram of artificial intelligence, so from machine learning going to the deep learning, they can speak uh, speech, uh, vision, and then more advanced to the languages and for the systems and planning and organizing. So artificial intelligence can perform what humans can normally perform, especially like in the business of like repetitive jobs or going to the like, for example, a library. You don't need a librarian 
a physical librarian to ask for you can try to search for an ai and then ai will gi give guidance and give answers on your queries the third ict that i am going to discuss is this big data analytics the big data data's value doesn't come from the collection of information that's just the starting point the real value comes from your ability to use the stored information to uncover new insights with the big data analytics and then present those ideas to promote a better business decision big data analytics is mainly to process throughout the assessing big data and extracting useful information from it the term useful information means identifying different patterns links customers preferences market trends that can help organization to make better and more well-informed decisions generally data analytics helps businesses to evaluate sets of data and turn them into something useful so you can see like a talent recruitment manage, uh, management this one is very great help for uh, human resource management for uh, keeping the track records of the employees for those data customer management speaking like you got the informations or the details of the uh, customers for future um, usage like um, giving them uh, promotions so that's the use of the big data analytics as you can see from the diagram of a big data analytics so from gathering of data for a volume of data, so it will go through to data cleansing. Data cleansing is where is the stage of taking out those data which is irrelevant for the analysis to be made. So after that, those data which are relevant for the said analysis, so it will give information and recommendation or suggestion to what was the case being studied. And that is the big data analytics. So the fourth ICT that I'm going to discuss is this what we called as a fog or edge cloud computing. Edge cloud computing is a distributed computing framework that brings enterprise applications closer to data sources such as IoT devices or local edge servers. This proximity to data at its source can deliver strong business benefits, including faster insights, um, improved response times, and better bandwidth av availability. So edges of devices causing network bandwidth issues, uh, more efficient operations, and it can provide uh, greater employee productivity and heightened security. So this um, fog edge cloud computing is something like a, a bigger storage for your data so this is the reason why it's very useful on the part of uh, business on having this kind of ICT as you can see from the diagram of fog or edge cloud computing so the data is being stored from the cloud going to the data centers and then passes go through the devices and then going through the sensors so this is how important uh, for a business to have this kind of edge cloud computing so it will become more faster so the more faster it is to pass the uh, the flow of the data so the better the productivity that they can provide or the people or the staff or employees uh, to be more productive the fifth and the last ICT that I'm going to discuss is this uh, digital twin metaverse. So digital twin metaverse, uh, digital twin in IoT or Internet of Things and the metaverse are the next big steps in our technological evolution. As these two technologies continue to shorten the gap between the human and the digital world. With the metaverse technology uh, gaining in prominence, especially after several international companies adopted it, 
we can observe the three main areas of application for it creating avatars helping scan objects to photogrammetry establishing a link between the digital twins with the live data the, dig the digital twins technology thus allows us to build a strategic products while avoiding the possibility of costly mistakes a digital twin is an exact virtual representation of a physical object in the digital world in other words it takes a real life object and creates an exact copy of that same object in the digital world when the metaverse technology in a virtual reality that exists even without you're not engaging with it the metaverse has also its own digital economy in which user can design buy and sell products it also interoperable allowing users to move virtual objects like clothes or cars from one platform to another in the metaverse people can have their own virtual identities avatars and positions that will help users create a virtual personal uh, that can be taken everywhere digital twins are one of the metaverse core building blocks because of the intrinsic qualities it can be also considered like a, a digital twin is a virtual replica of a physical entities such as people processes or systems that will help businesses make model driven decisions while in the metaverse metaverse can be described as an online 3d world where people and companies can connect with each other virtually combination of the virtual and augmented reality and social media with online gaming and cryptocurrency to create a completely virtual living environment for its users so for this digital twin in the metaverse i can say that this is like uh the modern and the most more advanced on the mo or the most advanced icts that i have discussed among the five icts here you can see the diagram of metaverse and the digital twin so on my right side it's the diagram for the digital twin so for an example you have this smart city you have this uh, smart world so everything like you have a replica on what was in it like a turbine or for the windmill uh, for whatsoever so you have the control so you um, you don't need to go to the certain place or location to where the machine was being put but you can control only even only at your office as long as you have this digital twin ICT while on my left side it's the, the diagram for the metaverse metaverse you have your own universe you can create a realistic uh, like for example an airport so you can have a realistic airport a single detail on the actual airport so wherever you need or you have to control something or you need to go or you get lost or you need to look for something then metaverse application it is uh, the best advice to use for businesses especially for the bigger businesses like you got plantation so you need to like um, for those who for your directors or whatsoever like uh, they need to be informed in such a way that they don't need to go to travel to a certain place or to go to, to go to the plantation but to use the metaverse which they can give you the almost similar real um, uh, place to go on this slide i am going to discuss about the benefits of the different icts in business so like for example number one the iot's or internet of things it can save time in regards to business it can minimize human resource as they can perform what humans can do more accessible for customers like it is easier on the part of the customers if you got some connections or wi-fi's for some inquiries and then 
moving forward to the next ICT, which is the artificial intelligence. So the one of the benefits for this is the zero human error, because he's smart enough. And then the good thing also, the second one is the round the clock availability. It's available 24 hours. So unlike human beings, you 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 need to take a rest or they got some like uh, sick leave or whatsoever. And then the machine can take a fast decision. Moving forward for the third ICT, which is the big data analytics, the data being stored is for to be used for competitive advantages. The second benefit for this is that it can give you a customer acquisition and retention from the data that you can gather. You can provide uh, or make a better decision on how to influence back your customers. And then also the third benefit for this uh, said ICT, uh, potential risk identification. So you can also, through the data, you can um, uh, gather information or give you feedbacks like, oh, this time from this data, it creates like uh, prevention. It can prevent from doing these things. So the fourth ICT, which is the fog or edge cloud computing, one of the benefits is the latent, latency reduction. And then the second one is it can enhance services for remote location. So that's the good thing about this having uh, this of uh, edge computing because uh, it's being stored in a very in a bigger to be considered stored in a bigger storage. So it's a greater data privacy. So by this having this edge cloud computing even with the internet you can still use the data being stored. Okay, and then the last ICT that I'm going to discuss about the benefits is this digital twin in the metaverse. As we all know that this one is already the most um, high-end as for now, this uh, uh, high-end ICT. So the uh, advantage for this is as a, a full automation. No need, no human being needed to do this thing, kind of thing. Security, reliability, it's all very secure. And it's a decentralized infrastructure. That's all for the benefits of the ICTs in businesses. On this slide, I'm going to discuss the risk of the ICTs in a business. So if there is a benefit, there is also a risk. So the first one is the IOT's risk. So it's complexity. So it's more complex because it's easier. Like um, um, just to the Wi-Fi or just on the Bluetooth as long as you get the internet connection. So it's very complex. And then this one is very prone to cyber attack. And also the third one will be the leakage of data information. So we got like, for example, you got internet connection. Um, the password can easily be retrieved by someone. So that's the risk of the IOTs. Let's go to, to the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, it's heavy cost. So it's more expensive if you have this kind of thing, this ICT. So that's the one. So the machine killed the job of the employment. Of course, as an artificial intelligence, uh, he can do what humans can do. So, but in return, he can also provide for computer engineers, can provide jobs for that. And then the third risk for this kind of ICT is that the machine doesn't have ethics. So you need human person to interact with human, something like that. Okay. And then let's go for the big data analytics. So the risk for this uh, ICT is that the data may be understood, misunderstood, rather. So the second risk for this is that the data sources may contain errors that leads to another new error. So that could be a possibility. And then the third risk for the big data analytics is the misuse of data. Like what for, happened, for example, for Tim Horton. So that one is a very big problem. It's a big scandal for that company. Okay, so let's go for the fourth to the fourth ICT, which is the fog or edge cloud computing. So the increase of design gives more complex for this. It's bigger. So the storage for the data is bigger, so it becomes more complex. 
and then just because it is being uh, in a local local location so this might be a physical security consideration for this type of ICT and of course if there's good or benefit for being decentralized there's also uh, having a risk for having a decentralized design and the last ICT which is the digital twin or metaverse so they must have this um, confidentiality integrity and um, availability so this structure is very important that it cannot be passed to another person only the right person has the right access to have this one otherwise it will create a big pro problem if this information will be passed to a wrong person on this part of the slide i'm gonna give you an idea of our different sizes of a company so we got this large company medium company small company and a startup company so i identify or i classify starbucks as a large company having a revenue of um, 8.150 billion with a total employees of 383,000. while considering this uh, mr safety shoes as a medium company who has this uh, 55 million revenue with a total employees of 200 and then considering this granville island brewery from vancouver which is to be as considered as a small company which having a revenue of 7.6 million with a total employees of 29 and the last one is the startup company which is a lingokick.com company is an online language tutoring is a private business that's based on singapore with only one person working on it so on this slide i will be giving recommendations of icts and different sizes of a company so for the large companies i would recommend that uh, they would go for a digital twin and metaverse like for example um facing uh giving that uh um starbucks is a big company so from their um bean coffee bean plantation so they can apply digital twins and metaverse so it is easier for the company to monitor and also they have they need to have this artificial intelligence as well so which is of great help for uh, the company and of course they need this edge cloud competition bigger companies need this one as you need you have bigger data and this big data analytics uh, this kind of ICT is very helpful for competitive advantages and for HR for waste management so these data are very helpful enough to um, come up with a better decision and then for the medium company which is i consider as the um, safety shoes mr safety shoes so medium company uh the best uh, or the recommended ict for them to use is this um artificial intelligence so with the trend of that uh, uh digital transformation i think being in the medium uh company they should have this artificial intelligence and at the same time they also need to have this uh, fog edge cloud computing um, ICT uh, since they need to uh, store their data properly and secured and another one is the big data analytics which is again for competitive advantages for uh, this medium sized company okay going to the small company uh, since it's small so we need to have uh, to be more practical about the costing of this so what uh, i recommend is that um, at first they have this big data analysis as it is more like they're going already to medium so again it will be of great help for this um, um, company for this kind of ict and the usage of the iot's or the internet of things for the small um company so um going to the startup i only recommend an iot which is um quite practical um 
not that very expensive since he just started his own business so um that's the only thing that i can recommend is the iot for the startup okay so hopefully by giving this uh, recommendations of icts and the different uh, company sizes so i was able to deliver what was uh, the purpose of the different icts so the last part of this uh, video presentation is the conclusion so we are now on the technology era and for business to stay competitive we had to adopt the trends for information and communication technologies speed is one of the basic advantages if business engages into ict connection to people or clients as ict will be of great help in assisting the needs of your markets and evaluate their individual preferences automation of products to produce to meet the demands and the decrease of labor rules is less needed if a business has to engage with the ict though in ict machines were able to fill the needs for humans like those manual repetitive jobs which now can be done through the icts bank cashiers is to be replaced by the service of the artificial intelligence telephone exchange were no longer needed numbers and can communicate through the facebook or whatsapp where we can send pictures to better understand what the real time and see what's the exact thing that we did the other party was referring to so it has been concluded that with the fast evolution of digital transformation we still need human factors such as uh, network managers web designers programmers and most of all computer engineers in which things to happen but humans must not forget that we created this artificial intelligence to robots in order for humans to have a comfortable and easier life these artificial intelligence and machines were created not to replace humanity but to bring more efficient and effective in the world we live in thank you the next page will be on references